What's up guys, I'm Mark about the software knowledge solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone Season 1 and its latest updates. Now, yes ladies and gentlemen, I'm landing constantly at the same place at real in-game gameplay, okay? In plunder. This is not some random ass map in Modern Warfare 3 where I'm testing FPS. This is me testing every single upscaling and landing at the exact same place every single time with different upscalings. Now, it took me a very long time to fucking make this video. Please smash that like button if this worked for you. Leave a comment down below, it would be much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into this video.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the quality tab right now. And as you can see, I had a fucking Giga Chad uh, trying to kill me the whole time when I was trying to test out this uh, Fidelity FX setting on 50% on the sharpness of your 50% is my own personal preference. You will have your own personal preference, but I was using the exact same settings as the previous ones as well. Every single upscaling. I was using competitive settings. Okay. These are competitive settings. And yeah, the guy just didn't want to leave me alone. So I just gave him a run for his money and I just fucking stabbed him. And then he typed gay. I mean, just because he got stabbed now, he's getting offended. It's a shame. The poor guy. Anyways, I was trying to record gameplay and i kept getting killed by people every time i did these upscalings and recorded i landed at the same place and some people would land there as a squad of four and i'm solo queuing in plunder and i would get my ass handed to me so please ladies and gentlemen for the love of fuck i had to re-record like literally like this one here and this one here a few of them i had to re-record like three to four times because i kept getting killed and i can't record the video for you guys to show you the fps that i'm doing okay so please for the love of fuck it's hot i'm dying of the heat leave a fucking like on this video it would really mean a lot to me it takes a lot of time and dedication making these videos and recording it and i actually wanted to show you guys what the fps is like in game instead of showing it to you guys of like a map you know like a custom map of modern warfare 3 where there's nothing happening okay that was me physically being in warzone in the game rendering in the map rendering in the trees rendering in the players rendering in the water rendering everything in so that's the FPS that you would expect to get out of a decent enough GPU. I'm running a 4070 Super right now with a 9700K and 16 gigs of RAM. Now, Fidelity FX Cache, I would highly recommend you use for any GPU right now at this very moment and with any CPU that you're currently running if you are playing Call of Duty. Fidelity FX Cache, I just don't know why. I just favor it right now because you can see your enemies easier and the frame dips aren't so bad like the rest of them but if you want a triple a title game and you want the game to look like a triple a title game i would highly recommend using the video dlss and then have this at quality go ahead and do that or you could use this upscaling here a lot of people told me when i had my 2060 oc that how am i running this upscaling or like ultra quality or at quality and doing like 130 to 140 fps with a 2060 OC, if they can't achieve that with 30 series cards, and I'm talking about 3060 Ti's or 3070's, and they can't achieve the same fr frames as me, and they're also running the game at 1080p. Now, it's all about competitive settings, what you tweak, what you turn on, and what you turn off, what's on very high, what's on low, what's on off. It does depend on these things. It really, really does. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are running a low-end graphics card or a low-end budget CPU, I highly recommend playing either with any one of these three over here. Fidelity FX Cache, AMD FSR 3.0, or AMD FSR 1.0. Okay, now something I just want to mention is this. If you got 6 gigs of VRAM or less, I highly recommend changing this from 90 to 75 like that. Some people are putting this at 75 with 8 gig graphics cards and, yeah, 12 gig graphics cards like mine. They're putting it at... 75 percent i don't know why maybe it's just because of that generation graphics card but i leave mine at 90 at every single upscaling with my 4070 super okay it, it runs every single upscaling at 90 percent perfectly fine because it can take advantage of the vram inside this game now if you don't have a lot of vram i do recommend downing this to about 75 the lowest you should be going to is 65 like this don't go any lower please don't go any lower you should not be doing 50 don't do that. Just please, for the love of fuck, don't do that. Um, when people tell you, like, no, no, you should put this at the lowest that it can go to, like, you know, 50, which is the lowest, please don't do that. It, it just, just don't. You need to be able to access your your VRAM, you need to be able to access it. Your game needs to be able to access your VRAM so that it can push out more frames out of your game and you can see more FPS running perfectly smooth on your gameplay. So please, for the love of fuck, do not put this at 50. Go to 65 at least as the lowest. If you know you got a really bad end, low end GPU and CPU, go with 65 here. But then if you're going with 65 here, only do that with these three, okay? Only do that with these three. Now, you can use this at 90% on the video memory scale. 
You can try 90% here as well and here as well. It's going to depend on your GPU. It's really going to depend on your GPU. But when it comes to NVIDIA image scaling, 90% always, NVIDIA DLAA is just a... Bleh. You'll see it in my beginning of my video. It looks like dog shit. I don't use this upscaling and I always skipped it in my videos. I don't like it. It's like, it's a, it looks like shit when you play this game. It feels unresponsive. It just, just doesn't feel good, okay? NVIDIA DLSS fucking amazing runs really well and then the intel upscaling runs really well as well okay now when you run these upscalings it's going to obviously upscale your game to make your game run better to feel better and feel more responsive now if you go ahead and turn this off and you go to a custom preset and you go to like extreme or ultra or balanced or basic or minimum i do not recommend this i don't recommend using this there's a lot of people that get away with it i can i can actually put this on extreme and play my game perfectly fine and still do over 200 frames literally still do over 200 frames in warzone and it runs perfectly fine i did a live stream recently where i actually showed people where i was using the custom preset at 4k resolution and running the game at 100 fps at 4k at extreme conditions at 4k okay with every single setting at the highest it can go to with the 4070 super because it's capable of running the game perfectly fine okay now i don't recommend it i really fucking don't i recommend that you go to custom and you customize everything inside you you choose your personal upscaling for your machine that you want to use right now i'm using fidelity at its cash i'm running this on a 4070 super i could just put this completely off like this just put off like that right and then obviously have this on which is nvidia deal ss frame generation which came out with the 40 series graphics cards putting this on generates ai frames for me it just generates it automatically for me which is a pretty neat feature for the 40 series now call of duty might release this for every single rtx graphics card that's out there right now and that is if it's going to happen we don't know yet we really don't know yet if it's going to be released in Call of Duty. I know it's released in some other games where, for instance, my 2060 OC, since it was an RTX graphics card, it could take advantage of frame generation. Like I know Cyberpunk could work perfectly fine on my RTX 2060 OC. Frame generation, I could switch it on and I would do more frames in Cyberpunk. All right, this is an example. Okay, now all of these over here, when you play your game, at a certain type of upscaling. Now I'm going to go over this. When you go with Intel DLSS, this you skip. Bleh. You go with this. So either one of these three over here, you are going to go with high and high. Please go ahead and do that so you can get the benefit out of the game looking really good and doing really good FPS. Okay. When you go to AMD FSR 1.0 or AMD FSR 3.0, I highly recommend you go from high to normal. On the texture resolution and leave this either at high or at normal you could just put them both at normal and you should be good to go and your frames will increase trust me on this your frames will increase now that is with amd fsr 3.0 and 1.0 as well right so that's what you're going to put it at normal normal okay you can go here to low if you've got a budget gaming machine like a really budget in gaming machine or a laptop then go with low over here Okay, and your game will still run perfectly fine. You'll get really good FPS and your game will still run perfectly fine. Trust me, it will. Okay, the rest of the settings is just, you could just copy them as is and you should be good to go. I'm not going to go over every single uh, like setting inside here. I've done multiple videos on this. But ladies and gentlemen, Season 2 is going to be released very, very soon. So I will be making an FPS boost guide. So if you're not subscribed to me to the channel, make sure to subscribe to me to the channel because I'll be making an FPS boost guide for Season 2. Now, something I want to mention is every time you do a different upscaling and you select one, let's just say you're running on this and you change now to this one over here or Fidelity of Scash, right? And you change this and whatever. You're going to need to do this. Basically, change these things, all of these things, and then say apply, right? Then you're going to have to do this for it to apply to the game. Otherwise, the game's gonna crash or fuck out. It will happen, okay? You need to do this. After you applied your upscaling and your settings to your specific settings and whatever your machine is running, you're gonna click on restart shader preloading. Click on this, restart. Click on it, please. Go ahead and do that. I've already done this multiple times. Every time I did 
changed my upscalings. I had to restart my fucking game. So it took a lot of time and dedication making this fucking video. So all you can do is smash a like button and leave a comment down below. Fuck that Giga Chad. For the guy that tried to fucking kill me every time when I was using Fidelity of his cash to show you guys the fucking upscaling. Just comment down below, Giga Chad. Then I'll know that you watched this entire video to the fucking end and you listen to me and you're actually taking note of what settings you should be running with your type of machine. All right? You click on restart. Once you click on restart, you're going to need to go out of your game completely. But before you do that, you're going to come over here, come to interface, come to color customization and come over here. Make sure your team and your party is the exact same color. Your enemy could be any color the fuck you want it to be. Mine is magenta pink and it's always been magenta pink. And then I'm going to come to this over here. Color filter. There is now a color filter 3 and it makes the gold guns look brownish. A lot of people might favor this over the filter 2. I really don't. I tried it out. I don't really like it because now when I ping an enemy, he's not pink anymore. He turns purple. As you can see, it says it's basically purple now. It just changed to purple. So now if I go to filter 2, it's now pink. So I would recommend just leaving it at filter 2 and just leave it there. But some people might favor the filter 3. So go ahead and test these two out. Okay. Always have this at both. 100%. 100%. And then, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, please go ahead and restart your shader optimization. And then launch your game. Once you launch your game... I don't know, leave your PC, don't touch your mouse, don't touch your keyboard, because it's going to say installing shaders here at the top. Once it's finished, then go ahead and jump into a game and see how your game performs. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be making an FPS boost guide for Season 2 in the next like six days or so. Let me actually jump into Season 2 and see what they fucked up since Call of Duty and Activision smokes crack and they don't know what the fuck they're doing. So I know already that we're going to be losing FPS. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to your channel if you're new year. And if this worked for you, and you watch this video to the very end and it worked perfectly fine for you, leave a comment down below, Giga Chad, for that fucker that tried to kill me the whole time. At least I got my revenge by fucking Katana, the living shit out of his face. And yeah, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, as always, just here to help the Call of Duty community as best I can. And peace out.